John chapter 17 and Proverbs chapter 8. I have a word of healing for your souls today, a word to set you free, a word to give you power and victory that's going to carry you to your last day on this earth. In John chapter 17, verse 4, it's one of the first verses I memorized back in 1977 when I became a Christian. It says, I have brought you glory on earth by completing the work you gave me to do. And that was many, many years ago, well over 40 years ago. And now, 40 plus years later, you know, I look and after 36 years of marriage, uh, Lord, I wanna, I wanna bring God glory by finishing the work that I will love and serve and laugh with my wife. After uh, 34 years of pastoring the same church and with my kids and my grandkids, and I'm so blessed that they love the Lord and we're closer to them than ever. And and, and as I've gotten older, anyone who has ought against me that I've, I've, I've tried to ask forgiveness and tried to at least uh, have some measure of restoration with them, tried to be softer and kinder. So I, I look at my life and I say, I want to bring God glory by finishing well. Finishing well is sort of a phrase this thing means, but uh, complete the work God gave me to do. And, and I want you to hear this one big three-letter word, how. How, how, how do we finish well? One way by being in God's word every day. I can't do this, you can't do this, nobody has the strength, but when we eat of God's word every day, every day we stay fresh, we stay encouraged, and we stay strong, which leads to something that really became a point of inner healing for me in Proverbs chapter eight. Proverbs chapter eight in verse 34 says, blessed is the man who listens to me, watching daily at my door, speaking of wisdom, waiting at my doorway. And I, I always kind of skimmed over that, but as I was reading it and studying it today and, and digging in, I, I read multiple commentaries and I found myself kind of nervous about the fact that every commentary waiting at my doorway says that this was students who would arrive early, eager for school. And I found myself going, oh, I don't, I don't feel comfortable with that. And I realized that I and most of you were raised in a school atmosphere that if we showed eagerness or enthusiasm for learning and for school, we were punished. And if we were excited about school, there were people that attacked us and criticized us and picked on us. And maybe that caused a wounding. And now God is through the word of God bringing healing. It's a godly thing. And now we don't want to, sometimes people actually, that wounding is what keeps them from diving into the word of God because they learn to hold back their love of learning. So today I want to pray for you. God, set us free to be healed to be excited, to be eager, to be to be in the school of your life, to be there before the doors open, to be uh, blessed is the man who listens to me watching daily at my doors, waiting at my doorway. So if the, if you had some pain in your life right now, I want to pray for you that in, in your school years, you had to hold back how much you enjoyed school for fear of persecution and harassment and being mocked. I pray right now that God would heal you and I pray that God would restore to you that that love of learning starts and ends with love of God's word and you'll have a, a fresh enthusiasm every day for God's word. Let the word and the love of the God's word explode even more alive in your heart every day. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.